My name is Savvy Rosenbaum. We've arrived on level S, and the following has already taken place. Malice swoops in and kidnaps Boris and my sister. My father, Henry, and Caleb leave me behind to look for them. And yet, the ink demon is nowhere to be found. But hey, I could be wrong. Bendy can be very mysterious when it comes to sneaking up on his prey. In fact, he could be behind me right now. Savvy! Turns out, all this time, Caleb had tailed me. Our dad was with him, so obviously I had every right to be downright livid. Where's dad? Savvy, hold on, just let me... You better tell me where you lost him, or your face will end up crumpled and unfinished like Allison's. Well, while Dad and I were going deeper into level S, Bendy appeared and caught us off guard by appearing through some double doors. But before he went off after Dad, he made quick work of my arm and left a nasty gash behind. <sighs> well, next time, you need to be more careful, Caleb. Where did Dad run off to? He fell down a trap door before Bendy got a hold of him. <sighs> Great. There. That should do it. The scars are still there. Caleb, they won't go away for a while. They'll heal up. Sheep, sheep, sheep. <laughs> it's time for sleep. Rest your head. It's time for bed. In the morning you may wake. Or in the morning you'll be dead. There he was. Sammy Lawrence. Way before that pipe burst in his office, he was my mentor, my voice director. Since the incident, he had grown aggressive towards others, even Mr. Drew and Dad. He even had a crazy obsession for Bendy, worshipping him like a god. It was just unsettling. Bendy hated it just as much as Joey did, and he ended up down here. But hey, can you really blame him? I don't. I felt terrible knowing he suffered a lot. When he turned towards me and my brother, I could tell that this was going to be one heck of a cordial reunion. The time has come, my brethren. Rise from the puddles, and I command you to go after these tender sheep and bring them to me. Get them! Caleb, what are you doing? Put me down! Oh, don't even think about it! This is a life and death situation, and I'm not losing you to the hands of your ex-mentor! I'll put you down when we get to a safe place, so hold on! Maybe I shouldn't have left Safi alone. Now look, we're all split up. I hope I can find them. And make Alice pay for taking Boris, my youngest daughter. Oh. Not this again. We got away. Yeah, with the skin still on our backs. How are you feeling? Ugh, my legs feel like jelly! At least we'll rest here for a bit before looking for- Caleb! Savvy! Over here! Dad? Hey, I need you to do me a favor. Well, just Savvy. Hun, I need you to check and see if Bendy is in the ink pool. What?! Are you insane?! Do you really think there's a chance that Bendy could possibly be here? He could be someplace else! I'm afraid I'm going to have to agree with Savvy, Dad. Bendy may have tricked us before, but maybe this time, maybe different. We won't know if your sister looks first. <laughs> ah, just the people I wanted to see. I do apologize for the wait. Savvy was giving me a hard time. But no matter, we can get to the fun part. So get...
I was badly wounded and in need of aid. However, something changed in my brother. Whenever he saw me and Haley like this, he would snap. His wounds would heal on their own. He would be surrounded in a blood red aura. Not just that, but the scariest thing that happened was his unchecked aggression turned to power. Dad, it took me time to learn that. Technique, too. But we should get a move on. Bendy may be down now, but something tells me he's not going to be too happy when he becomes conscious again. <laughs> 